Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you my Python ceiling fan creator that I built this week. We're going to go ahead and create a new project. I just wanted to show you a little preview of what we're building before we get started. I'm going to say File New Project. Now the first minute is going to be creating a new building. So if you've already seen my building creator, you might want to skip ahead a minute. But if not, it'll only take just a second. So this is a special version that doesn't have any windows, so it's a little bit faster. I'm going to have five wall segments, and we'll give it a little bit of self-illumination. I'm going to get prompted for three textures. The first texture is going to be the building texture. I'm going to use this little blue marble, even though it's purple. And then next, I'm going to be prompted for the sidewalk texture, which is also going to be our floor. So I'm going to use this little asphalt smooth, <clears throat> excuse me. And then the final texture is going to be our roof texture. And for that, I am going to select this little glass tile right there. This will take just a second. Okay, so now our building's been created. I'm going to knock out the right wall here so we can kind of see a little better into our building. And then next, I'm going to make it a little taller so we can see a little better. All right. So now we're going to set a little bit of global illumination so that we can see. So I'm going to give us a yellow light. And I'm going to crank up the ambient strength to about, that's fine. Okay, so now we have our building created again. Next, I'm going to create our ceiling fans. So I'm going to go to my practice folder. And I'm going to create three rows and three columns. And the fan speed does not matter at first. As the message says, if you move your fans, you must clear the object animation and change the speed again. So we're just going to create our ceiling fans. I'm going to get prompted for three textures again. So the first one, I'm going to use this little kind of dark wood I've got right there. The next texture... I'm going to get prompted for is the rod, which is kind of the pole that hangs down from the ceiling. And then the next thing, the final is the base, which I'm going to use this bamboo. And give that just a second. This will create our ceiling fans. And notice the speed is uh, shown there with it, although it won't matter. <clears throat> okay, so now we have our fans, but they're not obviously where we want them. So we're going to just the fans. Hit the W key to kind of bring up our little move gizmo, and we'll scoot them into place. Okay, and that should be good. Make sure, kind of move them over this way a little. Okay, so now we're going to scoot them up into the ceiling. Make sure I kind of... Sorry kind of hard for me to see up here okay so that's probably good right there and as our instructions say once you put them in place remove the object animation and now we're going to do one more thing we're going to remove the rods otherwise the rods will spin I can't do this before they move and I tried to make the rod the parent and it didn't work so everything I got all messed up so all you have to do here is just modify and detach the rods. And now we're going to load our script again to do the actual spinning. And we'll just make it go kind of a medium speed and change the speed. It's near instant. You know, I haven't tested with more than about 16, but it, it does most of them pretty quickly. So let's see if we're up on the ceiling there. Good. Yeah. So that is my little uh, Python script creator. I'll show you a couple more things before we go. The first thing I want to show you is how to turn it off. So if you set this to zero, they won't spin. And now a couple of other things to do as far as setting it up. <clears throat> I have my project hard-coded for 7200 frames, or I have the Python script. And the reason is I can't get that, um, there's some code, there's a way to do that through code, 
but it's not working. So just set your project and then go to range here for render. And something I usually do is just set it to 60 frames per second. And now we're going to open up in the in Visual Studio is what I use, or you can edit it in Notepad. But on line 109 at this time is uh, the frames is set to 7200. I'm going to try to fix that in the next day or so, but my attempts didn't work today, so I gave up and just just decided to tell you how to change your frames if your scene is different. But that is my uh, short little video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me set it back to we turn it off to zero. So I'll just put it back on. Oops, you know, you know, and by the way, whenever you're changing the speed, this doesn't matter, the columns and that. So we'll set it back. To, I like it to be kind of slow. I think that looks a little better for, it's just kind of subtle that the fan is on. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, and everybody have a great day.